Hey friends, today we are hanging out at Epcot for the International Food and Wine Festival 2023. There are a bunch of new food booths that just opened up today and I wanted to come out and try some of the food and let you guys know what I think. After that, we're going to head over to Magic Kingdom and I'm going to meet up with an old friend of mine from out of town for Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. So I figured we'd come on out, eat some food, ride some rides and have a beautiful Epcot kind of day. Anywho, let's go do this. It is another hot day out today in Florida and watch what it says when I ask what the temperature is. What is the temperature in Epcot right now? The current temperature in Epcot is 94 degrees. Due to the current humidity, it feels like it's 106. I don't know why Disney doesn't just open up everything for the Food and Wine Festival when the festival starts. Maybe because they want to keep people coming back and it worked because look, here I am. I'm back and I'm excited to show you guys some of the new offerings that they have. And also, even though it's super hot out, at least it's not going to be as hot as the first day. And it's not going to be as hot as the first night for Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. Now, because I already did a Food and Wine festival opening day video where I covered like 98% of the festival I'm only going to be focusing on the new boots that just opened up today if you haven't seen my first food and wine video please go watch it especially if you are planning on coming to the food and wine festival because in that video i spent like 200 dollars and i bought like 30 items like 30 different food and beverage items from all around the festival and it's like it's literally like almost an hour long so lots of information in there but right now i want to get into the two boots that are opening up today the first booth we're going to be stopping at is Hawaii and uh, this just officially opened up today and here's a look at the menu. They've got a Kahlua pork slider with sweet and sour dole pineapple chutney and spicy mayonnaise. They've got the spam sushi. They've got a passion fruit cheesecake and then they also got some Kona Brewing Company, uh, some beer and then the Alani Sunrise right down here. This is vodka, dole pineapple juice and grenadine for $14 and I think we're gonna we're gonna get it all I'm meeting up with my friend Ryan and he's making a video for his channel for the love of logging and I'm just kind of pumped to try some of the new food and spoiler warning one of the new boots is actually the noodle exchange I mean it's not new it was here last year but it's opening up today and uh, like I mentioned it's very hot out so it's not really the best climate to be eating some hot soup uh, but uh, I'm here for it here is a look at the food and I got the uh, pork slider with the spicy like mayonnaise on the side and it was really cool because uh, they made a little hidden Mickey with the uh, the mayonnaise Ryan ended up getting it with it on it and you can actually see it right there it looks good and then and I'm gonna try the spam sushi. I mean, I'm gonna try it, but like I said, I'm not a big sushi fan. And uh, the passion fruit cheesecake looks good. So we got lots to try. Oh, and I don't wanna forget about the uh, Alani Sunrise. I spilt a little bit, but this looks so refreshing, especially on a hot day. First things first, I think I'm gonna try the drink only because I'm so hot and I need something to drink. But uh, yeah, here we go. That is so good. You can't really taste any alcohol. Like there's vodka in there, you can't taste the vodka. The pineapple is just so amazing. It is such a refreshing drink. Ugh. The only downside is it's $14 and at that price, you could get yourself a margarita at Mexico. So you gotta really love the pineapple or uh, you gotta just really wanna spend a lot of money on drinks you'll drink super fast because they are delicious. Ryan's actually rocking one of the new Disney 100 Roosevelt shirts. Look at that. Look at both that. of us are actually today. We're we both, this is all uh, Series 3. I was afraid we'd be matching. <laughs> I was waiting. I was hoping we'd be matching so we could do the Shirt Brothers skit. Okay. Do you well, ever see that? that? We'll have to plan it out next Yeah. Time. Hey there, know. Shirt Brother. <laughs> oh, I do. Yeah, know about. Shirt Brother. <laughs> <laughs> it would be funny, you yeah. know what I mean? But it's got to be an accident. It's got to be it's, an accident. Yeah, we got to, yeah. 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 <laughs> 
I think I'm gonna start by eating the things in order of what I'm gonna like the most to the things that I probably won't like so much. Hinting at that sushi there. <laughs> like, I, uh, like I said, I'm not too sure I'm gonna like it a lot, but I mean, this isn't, you know, for people that uh, like, like sushi, you know what I mean? You might like this. I don't like sushi, so of course, I'm probably not gonna like it, but I'm gonna try it just to see what it's like. <laughs> this slider is huge. Look at that. Like, I think it's a lot of the chutney on there, but uh, it's still got a pretty good amount of pork in here, and I'm excited to dive in. I think this is a King's Hawaiian roll, too. Those are the best. That is so good. I love it. Wow. Like, there's no barbecue sauce. All you're doing is getting the flavor from the pork and then the chutney now there is a little bit of spice in there so you got to be careful not much spice though because like i'm not a spicy eater and i like this a lot but holy moly that is a good good item right there ryan actually tried it with the spicy mayonnaise on it how is it how's the spice level it is not spicy whatsoever i'm like mine was a little like there's like a little spice i think that's just the jalapenos and the chutney but like there's no spice in the mayonnaise I honestly it just, it feels like it's not adding to what normally you'd expect from a spicy aioli on any type of sandwich. It's not overwhelming whatsoever. It's on a Richter scale, not a Richter scale, a Calvin scale of like, I don't know, 20%. So 20%. It's not, it's not bad. <laughs> All right, well, I really love the pork slider. Now I'm gonna dive into the cheesecake because I think I'm gonna like the cheesecake a little bit better than I'm probably gonna like this. Watch, I end up loving this. I think I had it last year, but I didn't try it with the sauce on it because I was kind of a plain Jane, but this year I'm gonna go all in. Uh, but yeah, so now we're gonna dive into the cheesecake and this is a passion fruit cheesecake and it looks like that's macadamia nuts on top there. I mean, I'm, I'm not even the biggest fan of cheesecake, but I'm still interested, and that's all that matters. You gotta try, you have to try. I'm a big fan of macadamia nuts, so at least I know I'm gonna like that, so here we go. I love the macadamia nuts part about it. I mean, it's a, I mean, it's a cheesecake. If you love cheesecake, you're gonna love this. Me, on the other hand, I would get something different. I would definitely stick to probably the carrot cake or the uh, the uh, Guinness, uh, or it's the Bailey's pudding cake that's over in Ireland. That one's really good. Ryan doesn't like sushi either, but I think since I'm trying it, maybe he's gonna try it. You know. I will try a bite. I will try to put it in my mouth and try it. That's what I mean. We're going to try it. We both don't like sushi, so we're going to give it a go. Now, honestly, this is probably the best sushi for someone to try if they've never had sushi before or are afraid of trying like raw fish because I'm pretty sure uh, I think there's just spam inside there, but I don't know what else is in there. I got to look at the description a little bit. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to go, I'm just going to go for it. I'm just going to go for it and see how, uh, how it turns out. So cheers. All right, I saved a piece for you. <laughs> All yours, buddy. Okay, fine. Yup. Not for me. Nope. <laughs> Shockingly, it wasn't that bad. I mean, I was really playing it up that I was going to hate it, but I don't hate it. I just don't prefer to, I don't want to eat it. Like, I don't want to eat more of it. Um, I, it, it tastes just like, uh, like a sushi would without the fish. And uh, I know there's other sushi you can get that actually doesn't have fish in it, but I feel like that's going to be... Nope, Frushi. Frushi is going to be the closest thing to me liking sushi. <laughs> like, Frushi is the closest thing, I would say. Enough of the Hawaii business. We're making our way over to the next booth that just opened up today. And this one is the Noodle Exchange. And this is a bunch of ramen. And they actually have like a beef one. They have an impossible pork udon. And this uh, impossible one still comes with chicken broth. So I don't think it's vegan. Um, and then they have a Thai shrimp and a uh, tofu ramen too. And I think uh, I might get two of them. I might try the shrimp and the beef. I mean, you can't turn down a nice hot cup of ramen on a uh, 106 degree day at Epcot, you know? 
you might actually hear me pronounce ramen differently. Uh, sometimes I like to say ramyun, ramyun, because growing up we used to eat ramyun, and ramyun is like the cheap version of ramen. Like you, we got ramyun uh, at like the dollar store, or the, at that time it was called the 99 cent store, and uh, that's what me and my brother and uh, we used to eat a lot growing up, and it was called ramyun. So I always grew up thinking ramen was ramyun, and and sometimes I slip, so you might hear me call it pork ramyum. <laughs> I decided on getting the shrimp. Uh, I don't think this is actually ramen, though. This is like something different. It's shrimp. Oh, it's Thai shrimp. And um, then I also got the beef, the regular one. And this one comes with a spoon. The other one didn't come with a spoon. But I like how they add the broth right there for you. Look at that. Lots of noodles. I'm excited. I'm just sitting here trying to eat my ramen and Pluto's walking by being a good boy. Look at that. Huh. If that was Gracie, she'd be over here asking me for some of my ramen. I'm gonna try the beef one. This is like the regular ramen first. Only, only because, I, you know what? I like to eat my uh, soup a little different. I like to get some of the broth and then I take some of the noodles and then I take some of the peppers and all the other good stuff and I put it all inside the spoon so it's like you're eating all of the soup but in one bite. You get a little bit of everything in there. So here we go. This broth is so good and so flavorful. I love this dish and it's not too hot. Like it's it's hot, but it's not like super, super hot. Uh, and I guess I guess that's a good thing. I don't know. It's hard to tell these days. I don't know what's, what's supposed to be and what's not supposed to be anymore. All right, now I'm trying the Thai shrimp. And I, I have no idea what to expect from this one. You do get a lot of shrimp. Oh, the tails are on them. Oh, look at this. I'm gonna pull my tail out. Look at that. Look at that, that's how, you, that's how you take the tail up with shrimp right there. Cheers. Oh, actually, I'm gonna grab some of the noodles too. Oh wait, I don't know. I thought maybe initially I was gonna like this one better, but I think I'm sticking to the traditional. The flavor and the, the, the broth for the original ramen is just so good. This is still, it's pretty interesting. It's definitely different, but I think I'd stick with the, uh, the beef one first. I still like it though. I think they're good choices. It's just hard to eat on a hot day, you know? All right, enough of the ramen business. I do have to say the original one was my favorite. And now that we're all hot and uh, filled up on soup, it's time to make our way over to the Magic Kingdom so we can meet up uh, with my friend and uh, she's gonna go to uh, Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. I'm so excited. The lines to get in Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party are crazy. They've got like traffic, uh, like, coordinators people directing traffic because there's so many like mass amounts of groups of people coming from all different directions that they're just coming everywhere like look at this line going all the way back look at this this is all people waiting to get into the party this is all part people waiting to get into the party and then on the other side there's people waiting to get in the party so they're letting different areas in at each time so this side's all going in and then that side and then this side that's insane though, right? That's a, that's a lot of people, holy moly. The right, just past the umbrellas, please. Buses. buses straight ahead. Yep, buses straight ahead. You get the bus for the hey, hey, how are ya? Hi. <laughs> Look at this, holy moly. That large line of people that are trying to come into the park right now are all guests using their party ticket to get in at 4 p.m. So luckily, I don't have I, I don't have to wait in that line. I can just go to the pass holder line because I'm not staying for the party tonight. I'm just coming to meet some friends who are staying, and I'm only going to be here for a short time, just in between 4 p.m. and 6 p.m. Uh, and uh, just going to hang out with them for a little bit and ride some rides. Uh, but. Wow, that is a long, long line. And if you are coming to the party and you're a pass holder, just go to the pass holder line and then pick up your bracelet inside the park. Cause that was, I've never seen it that long before in my life. And we have made it into Magic Kingdom. Look at that. Isn't she a beaut Clark? I really thought about getting a ticket for tonight's event, but they are sold out and I didn't even try. I should have booked it with my friends when I knew they were planning on coming, but I did the first night. So if you want to see like some coverage or if you want to see a video uh, from the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party, I also did one like three days ago. So I'll put that video and the Epcot one in the description if you guys want to check it out.
All right, here are my friends Amber and Kevin, and uh, they're getting uh, ready for the uh, Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party tonight. Are you excited? Yeah. Excited? Well, I bet you you're gonna have fun, and I hope you get lots of candy, and it's gonna be fun. Let's boo this. Our first ride of the day is going to be the Jungle Cruise, and it's a 35 minute wait, but this is one of the rides my friends have never rode before, so I'm kind of excited to ride the world famous Jungle Cruise with them and get a little, uh, get some laughs. That gets me. Please supervise the children. I don't have any. I don't want any. You brought them here. They are responsibility. This is not the Jungle Cruise. Uh, Jim, it's the Jungle Cruise. Now, guys, we are clear. And our hands up if it's anyone's first time on the Jungle Cruise. Let's give a feeling to throw the party for us. He's got the music, he's got the dancing, he's got the singing, he's not there. Dude, <laughs> why didn't you tell me? Uh, you can tell it's not a bowler, though, because uh, it's got no feather. Um, this, is, this is kind of embarrassing, guys. Yeah, I, uh, this is my camp. Um, yeah, and I've accidentally left the lights on in my truck, so we're just going to keep moving on because the, the battery's going to die. It's Dwayne the Rock. Yeah. I uh, know. So, welcome guys to the African Belt. We've got a wide range of animals here, ranging from around there to there. And oh, look, these lions are looking after a sleeping zebra. Oh, that's adorable. I love riding the Jungle Cruise. I think it's so funny. Even though I hear those jokes all the time, it still makes me crack up a little bit. And it was cool being able to ride it with them for the first time and like seeing those jokes like hit. You know what I mean? Like seeing them like literally make other people laugh and you can you can see it in their face. And I love that. It was really cool. And now uh, we're gonna move along and see if we can get in one more ride before uh, six o'clock and it's time for us to leave through uh hey oh yes very fancy thank you sir <laughs> i love you big al i love you <laughs> now we're gonna make our way up to the haunted mansion it's a 35 minute wait but i was telling them it's probably gonna get busy here later on it gets cooler at night because of all the up lighting and fog but uh it's better to get out of the way now so it's one less thing I'm glad 
I got to ride the Haunted Mansion with them. And now it's sad to say it's time for me to depart and make my way uh, out of here. The, the party has officially started. Well, the party doesn't start till 7, but between 6 and 7, that's when they get the rest of the day guests out. So uh, they're on their own adventure now. And I'm going to start making my way out and uh, maybe go get something to eat. This evening's tricks and treats will reveal themselves in just 30 minutes. Happy Halloween! You heard it there, folks. It's time for us to be making our way out of here. And we're going to be going to one of my favorite places right next to the Magic Kingdom. In fact, we are going literally a minute away we're going to playa pizza which is around the corner and you can actually get pizza and it's open till 2 a.m and you can watch the fireworks from their parking lot and we're going to do that tonight it's their anniversary and i thought it'd be fun to bring you guys along we're going to watch the halloween fireworks from the parking lot <laughs> outside of magic kingdom i got you <laughs> what are you doing now that we have made it back home, it's time to change and get ready to go to Playa Pizza. And I cannot wait to show you guys this place. Like, it is literally, I would say, a minute like one minute away from the entrance to Magic Kingdom. Like how crazy is that? And uh, we're gonna, they're gonna have trivia there, they're gonna have live music, pizza, and then we're gonna watch the fireworks in the parking lot and wait to you guys. Like if you, I've been here before, but if you've never seen it before, I, you're gonna be impressed. So it's gonna be fun, but first we need to change. This is Gracie in her closet bedroom. This is Gracie in her second closet bed. <laughs> This is Gracie in her bedside bed. Now that we're all changed out and we got to show you Gracie in all of her uh, little sleeping nooks, uh, it's time to uh, show you guys Playa Pizza. Here it is, Playa Pizza. Pizza, bar, grill, late night music. Celebrating a year of beach partying. And look at it is right across the street from Disney World. Look at that. Oh, look how beautiful this is right now. But look at that. This is where the fireworks are going to be. You can see the top of Cinderella Castle right there. This is West Clock. So this is where all the Magic Kingdom cast members have to park. And uh, there's Disney University right there. Isn't that so cool? And the fireworks are going to be right in front of us, guys. Like right here. It's going to be amazing. Especially because they're the Halloween ones. So they're going to have like a little perimeter to them. But it's going to be epic. And we're going to just be hanging out here. Eating pizza. Drinking some drinks. Listening to music. They even pump the music out too. Like when it's happily ever after. And we're just going to be staring out and watching the fireworks. Wow. I can't get over this sunset though. This has turned out to be such a magical day. I also love how it says, to all who come to this pizza, please welcome. Eat Playa Pizza. And also, if you ever watched my video of us going out and doing yard sailing and like checking out all the yard sales in Windermere, uh, you'll remember I came to Stuff a Bagel, and that is right next to Playa Pizza. So, right outside of uh, Magic Kingdom, you have bagels and pizza. What else could you want? Here is a look at the menu. Of course, they've got pizza. You're down with OPP. And then all the names of the pizzas are all really cool. Like, sweet dreams are made of cheese. Uh, a pizza has no name. Are you still vegan? Hawaii Five O. Like, I love all of this. And then they've got, like, rabbit food. They have a lot of good uh, vegetarian and ve vegan options. And then they've got a lot of pasta dishes. And they actually make their pasta in-house here. And it's so good. 
They also have a machine that creates New York water. So they have a New York water machine in there so that they can put the New York water into the pizza dough and into the pasta. And you know what they all say, it's all about the water. So, you know, I, it, it's good pizza, it's pretty good. Oh, yeah. We're starting off the night with some garlic knotties. Garlic knotties. And I've had these before, and they're so much better looking. Holy moly, I'm excited to dive into these. We also got some chicky nug nugs, and these are so good. These are hand breaded chicken nuggets, just like Chick fil A, but better. Cheers. Nice. Look at how awesome that pizza oven is back there. It actually spins round and round. And they're, uh, yeah, they're, they're, they're slinging some pies back there. We got some of mom's spaghetti. On the nerve, on the surface. It looks calm and ready. What's our uh, trivia name? Pickle Monsters Incorporated. Pickle, <laughs> Pickle Monsters Incorporated. Incorporated. Yep. Legit tickle business. Legit. No tickle. We got pizza, we got pasta, we've got garlic knots and chicky chicky nug nugs. Things are good, live music. I like it. Everyone should know Cinderella's royal table. But what was Cinderella's royal table's original name? It's you know what? It's Prince. It's Prince something. Cinderella's royal table. Prince Albert? I believe you said. Yeah. Prince Edward? <laughs> it's Prince something. Who was Cinderella's prince? No, it's not. What was his name? Prince Charming? Yeah. Guys, come on. You know it, right? I don't know it. I'm gonna say it was something Prince. It's gotta be Prince, Prince Charming's? Prince John? Prince John? Oh, come on. Eight right. Kristen, how did you know all the answers to all these questions? By this trivia, but really all the answers were on the seat at the table, except for a couple. <laughs> All right, well, we had some good food. The music was fun. The trivia was good. The Tickle Monsters almost won. We were like two questions off. Oh, incorporate it. And now it's almost time for the fireworks. So we're gonna head outside, find a little cozy spot and uh, watch the view or see the show. For, like, it's gonna be beautiful. They have little tables set up so you can just sit and actually watch from right there. Literally all the fireworks are going to be right here and you can even get some drinks so I think we're going to get a bottle of champagne. Oh, yeah. yeah, a bottle of champagne. And I think they're, they're going to pump the music too. I think so because they have the speakers right here. If not, I'll sing to you. Oh, okay. Thank you. It's off there. Oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers to, what's the name of the show? Not Mickey's. So spooky Spectacular? Yeah, it's Not So it's Spooky called? Spectacular. That's what it's called, yeah. I there we go. So. Mickey's Not So yeah. <laughs> Sounds like we made that up. No, it's real. I, I hope it's real. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I mean. We can say hi to your mom. Say hi to your mom. There you go. Wow. Holy moly.
And with that, we are done here today. I hope you guys enjoyed the fireworks. I enjoyed them. It was so it was so fun. I love going there. The atmosphere is great. Everyone that works there, the owner, everybody, they're just so awesome and they're amazing. And it's always good conversations and good food. And especially just being able to hang out and watch Disney fireworks in the parking lot. Like that's amazing. But I hope you enjoyed the whole day. I feel like this today's video was all over the place, but uh, I just, you know, I was like, you know what? Might as well make a little video, bring you guys along. So I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed making it and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.